Hello folks, welcome back to Farm Simulator 25. This time we're going to be testing on what's the best way to make silage in FS25 and at the moment there's only two ways to make silage and that is via the using chaff via the bunker silo or to mow the grass and then bathe it. So what we know from some previous testing, best way, best way to make chaff is harvesting the corn at four bumps and let's see we've got a full 100% yield bonus. And what I'm going to do is literally do this field. I'm going to do four tests. So I'm going to do this pass here, this field, without a side generative. Then what I'm going to do is come back in, do a side generative test. Even though I've done a previous test, that meant that with side generative you got a 2.95% bonus. However, I'm going to cover all the bases. So with chaff and that, it's every four months. Obviously we're not doing about eight seasons, and with grass, the best way to cut it is after two months. Again, based on the video, these will be linked down below or in the end coordinate. But without further ado, let's get a test one of four underway. So, it's literally chaff with and without side generative. And actually, I think we are a month early. Oh, no, no, not a month early. And there we go, so yeah, we're harvesting the chaff. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't take us too long to do. And then uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll come back in, do this again with Sludge Active, just to confirm any yield bonus in that. Even though on Adamant it is about 2.95%, 3% from some previous testing. And then uh, yeah, what I'll do is I will afterwards draw this field, get the grass, and then re rinse and repeat that. And yeah, we'll do silage fire wrap bells and that and I think we'll do ram bells I think at the moment it's the best way to do it or square bells at the end of the day doesn't make a difference all that matters is what is worth most in that in terms of what's the fastest way to get it and in general if you're doing silage over the course of a year how much silage can you get in a year so first pass done we're at 36% so I'm going to do the headlands and then yeah I'll continue on this uh, what I'll do is I'll continue on with it, get all the testing done, keep this video nice and short, and I'll bring folks back once we're done to discuss some results and yeah, give you my two cents on what you should do, how to make some delicious silage which can make absolute millions, or use it to feed your cows or more buffaloes. And there we go, test completed, and yeah, I couldn't wrap these bells because. I actually done the largest size, 240cm bells, and you cannot wrap these. I thought we could have used the, uh, what was it, the sausage bait or sausage wrapper and that, so... I thought, yeah, we could have used something like this and that, but yeah, it could do the largest of ram bells, but not the largest square bells, so... Yeah, I've got to do something else for the fun now, now, but anyway, so... Testing has been completed, and... Yeah, what I'm going to do now is pop a screenshot... Uh, Again, the table and that, and we'll go through discuss. As always, feel free to pause it to look at it in more detail. But anyway, so I've done four tests two with grass, two with corn chaff. Obviously, I did with and without sludge additive. And first of all, when I did my sludge additive test video, I had a yield bonus of 2.95%, 3%. However, in this test, the yield bonus was. 5% when you're using the side here with the corn chaff, so I'm not too sure there. You use the same bit of equipment. Yeah, I use the crone. I think, yeah, it feels like crone I use on both, I'm not too sure. Or maybe when I was doing the corn chaff or the side here, what I did use the modded. How uh, was it? The case, the class one, that. So, yeah, not too sure on that. But anyway, so. Let's go over the details. So, obviously, in terms of yieldage, yieldage over 12, sorry, two months. So, for grass, obviously, you cut every two months. Now, that's the best way to go about it. Without the size additive, we got 147,497 liters. With the additive, that is 154,867 liters. And that is a yield bonus of 4.99%. So, yeah, bang on 5%, pretty much. Yeah, of course, there's always going to be some errors in that with the like, three decimal places and that. But, moving on to the corn chaff, so over four months and that, so 
you get 242,126 litres, and with the additive 254,396. Overall, we put that in a period of are all equal over a 12 month period, so that is 6 cuts of grass over 12 months, and 3 cuts of corn chaff every 4 months. Over the course of 12 months, and short, best to do grass silage in that, not corn chaff in that. Why? Because you get more over the course of a year if you do it every two months for the grass and compared to the four months of corn. In terms with our annual volume, so with the grass we got 885,000. With the grass additive, that is 929,000. For the corn chaff, that was 726,000 and 763,000 respectively. So, long story short, yeah, go with the grass that because even at the most difference has what 160,000 year difference over a course of and yeah that difference is does add up in that so what I say was about 100 in 960 let's just say and that is 170 165,000 year difference so we'll go to our prices tab so yeah this menu ugh, this is a pain in the ass this menu is especially this section over here in that so if we go to size net, because yeah, it's a one to one for men ratio net. Obviously that so silage went past it. And yeah, half a look. So silage around about 354, 377. Yeah, prices can obviously vary net, but that does add up very quickly. And yeah, for the small field, which is 1.69 hectares is this, so not the biggest of fields, but average enough. Yeah, you get a lot of silage from here, potentially, again, depends on what fields you're using. But at the end of the day, if you're going to use the fields for silage, do grass silage, yep. Oh yeah, that actually tells you to blanket the side of that. That's the first time I've done that. But anyways, that's going to leave it for today. As always, if you found this video helpful and affordable in some shape or form, if so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me from Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.